So we're hearing there that cases are over 100 now. How worried should we be, if at all? Well, can I put it this way? The, um, the public health authorities now around the world uh, have quite a tricky job at the moment. On the one hand, they have to reassure the vast majority of us who uh, are unlikely to come into contact with uh, monkeypox. Um, while on the, uh, the other hand, they've got to um, try and alert those who need to be vigilant because they're at higher risk of coming into contact with it. Uh, and all this at the same time as they've got to um, do some good old old-fashioned steam epidemiology tracking cases, both, both forward, uh, tracking contacts of cases, both forward and backwards, uh, to try and uh, eliminate the, uh, the, the outbreak we've seen at the moment. Why would it be happening at the moment? Why are we hearing of this? Um, I, mean, I mean, it's silly to call it uh, or to over, overdo it, isn't it? I mean, there are very few cases uh, relatively, but why are there more cases suddenly now? There's a couple of reasons. Um, it's, the name is a misnomer. It, it's not a disease of monkeys. It was just first spotted in a lab in Denmark back in the 50s in monkeys. It actually normally um, infects quite a range of small mammals in West Africa. Um, and uh, back in about 2018, uh, it seemed to have spread a bit more widely through West Africa, particularly in Nigeria. And that's when we first saw uh, a case spread um, as a, in, in a human who actually tra uh, trafficked, he'd, he'd um, travelled from Nigeria to the UK. Um, shortly after, we had another one, and uh, one, one of those cases infected a, a lady in a hospital. And we've basically seen a similar picture here in the UK and, and globally, just a handful of cases each year cropping up. Um, but this year, um, rather than just infecting uh, one person or maybe one person and his family members. It's got into um, people who are part of a network of, of close and intimate contacts, which you need to spread monkeypox. Um, and, and more crucially, we haven't been able to identify the, the person who, or persons who brought it into the country from West Africa. There is a vaccine against it, isn't there? Um, but obviously it's not like the pandemic where we all need to be vaccinated. Are, are there any people who are more likely to be um, sort of susceptible? Yeah. Well, it's, it's an interesting point you make, you make about the vaccine because the vaccine is the vaccine that was used to eradicate smallpox back in the 1980s. And, and you asked why it's happening now. One of the other reasons why it's happening now is that um, immunity in the global population, West Africa particularly and, and, and uh, in the West, is, it has diminished because people haven't been vaccinated against smallpox for years and years. Um, but yes, we, we, we do have a vaccine. The vaccine works um, to, would protect people before um, they were exposed to the virus. But more crucially, and, and a difference to the, the COVID vaccine, is that you can actually use this for a fairly short time after people have been exposed. So it is worth people who uh, suspect they, 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 they might have, have uh, the, 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 the symptoms uh, and have a good reason to suspect that they might have symptoms. And more to the point, uh, could have been exposed to someone who might have monkeypox um, to, to, to come forward to their, to their health authorities because um, you know, th there are various options that, that could be used to, um, to, to treat them. Albeit, to be said, it is generally a very mild disease anyway. Its, it's mortality is very low. 